Terrapin, a rocket that belies its name by hitting 3,800 miles an hour. At the Wallops Island, Virginia testing grounds, they mount the warhead containing instruments for the collection of data in outer space. Completely armed, the missile weighs only 220 pounds and is a scant 15 feet long. A fraction of the cost of other rockets, she's ready for the test which will carry her in two stages up to 80 miles in the stratosphere. In the first stage of the flight, the Terrapin reaches an altitude of 10,000 feet in five and a half seconds. The second stage takes over, and Terrapin, at 3,800 miles an hour, soars into the unknown. <laughs> Students of the NATO Defense College visit U.S. Air Force and Army installations in western Germany. Students of staff rank. Generals and admirals of many allied nations keeping posted on new weapons and tactics that form the steel core of the Western world's defense line in Europe. Airborne units loom ever more important in defense plans. Compact, hard-hitting, and highly mobile striking forces of elite troops, the new kind of infantry that may fight future wars. Most important, the air power demonstration is a reminder that NATO, though less often in the headlines, remains our bulwark against the Red Army in Europe. By its very existence, it contains a prime military threat and channels Russian imperialism into diplomatic and economic arenas. A military force in being to serve the cause of peace. <laughs> 